Hello, so we are looking at billing data submission. This is your contact notes with your clients and them being converted into billable data so that we can send it to our funding sources for reimbursement. We've got a few starter rules. We bill in units and one unit equals 15 minutes. We don't get to decide these units. They are decided by the client and family need and want, provider input, so what you say does matter. That's where letters of recommendation come in and where meet and greet recommendations really come in. Case manager design and rules and regulations. We can request changes, but as any request, we may get a yes or no or something in between. And we can't make any changes until we actually receive a written approval or feedback on our request. Ideally, we use what's in the plan. If we use units to excess, then we're not gonna get paid. If we miss units, then it may look like we're not meeting a need. So anytime we miss units, we record a T-log and explain why, so that way if there's any questions, we have the answers ready for them. In order to access the app, you're going to have to acknowledge your data sheet each data sheet includes rules and regulations, notes on your service plans, templates and reminders to help sh make sure you don't miss any vital information needed for your client's file and billing. You'll need to log into the main site, not the app, to access the full fire file, including to review and acknowledge data sheets. Anytime there's a change made, when you go to the app, it'll say it's not acknowledged and it means you need to repeat this process. Remember the app is just a shortcut to enter billing notes and for clients to verify their services. When you log into Therap on the main site, the individual page home is where you want to go. It's going to have a list of your clients. You can also search and type in their name and pull it up. The system will take any three letters you enter and give you a list of matches. Once you're in the individual home page and you click on the file, it's going to open it up to where you get a shortcut to everything. So there's going to be modules. Health tracking is where you can enter information about any appointments you're helping them with, healthcare wise. ISP data, you can do a search and see all of the data you've already entered. The go to section right underneath modules, individual data, that's going to be all of the really important information, their background, the medical information, medications they're taking, things that you really need to know, so make sure you're reading through them. And I'll submit a T-log when those things are updated for you as well. The ISP programs, those are your data sheets. So anytime you want to pull it back up and read those rules and regulations again or get any notes, you can click on it on the full narrative, day respite example, massage with Allegra, whatever it may be, and it'll pull it up for you to review. At the bottom, the service authorizations, you're not going to be able to click on the blue link where it says like 97124. That's locked because that opens up all of the billing side of things and trust me, you don't want to be in there. But the date range, that's important because that's telling you when the service plan is ending or whatever authorization we have. Almost every session of billing is the same. You're going to click into your app. You're going to click the ISP data click your program, which is always going to be your direct care provision and find your client. It's going to date stamp it for you. You're going to click where it says begin time into in your start of your billing session, your end time, when you're ending your billing time, location, the satellites will pick up where you are. Whatever it says is fine. And you can just type in a period in the comment section or if you want to leave a uh, more detailed comment you can. The next se section is your tasks. Go ahead and click it and it's going to bring up those details. Enter in a score for each task that you address. Tasks are related to the service goals. If a narrative is needed, you can enter that in the comment sections of the task. Remember these are all customizable 
ask for any changes and individualizations. Everybody generally starts with a template related to the rules and regulations definition of the services until you guys get to know them and then you can customize their treatment plan. Make sure you mark it as billable because if you don't, guess what? It's not going to trigger billing and then it's not going to show up on that billing summary. We can always go back and fix it, but it's easier if it's done in the moment. At times, they're not going to have comment boxes. So if that's the case and you have a comment that you need or want to put in, you're going to put it under that billable write your comment section. The next section is your verifications. Photos of clients are not required. Front doors are fine. I see a lot of pets. Sometimes I see cl client and provider selfies. Ask them what they want. And then some clients like to sign and some clients don't. It depends on where they are in the moment. And of course, every rule has exceptions. Funding sources will make a big difference on how we have to do things. And right now we do have seven different funding sources. That's why we do have some things that change from client to client. Mill Levy is one of the biggest ones that we have as far as alternative funding sources. All the comments boxes and Mill Levy clients are going to be blocked. So you're not going to be entering it in the task section. You're going to be entering it in that billing comment section that was circled pink in the last slides. Some requests for Denver Mill Levy require an invoice to be sent prior to services. So if you don't have something in writing saying that we can do it from me or the case manager, we can't do it. We've got to wait for the process to be completed. Certain services also have special billing rules such as host homes, transportation, group respite, and day respite. Day respite bills at one unit per 24 hours for any respite provided over 10 hours. It bills at a flat rate, not an hourly, and is less than hourly respite. That is important for everybody to know. Each ISP data sheet for day respite has some of those special instructions that I mentioned earlier on how to create the billing. Read them carefully. They're there for you as a guide. And you must submit a data sheet for each day unit that you're billing for. So this is a day respite. One day respite can be billed per 24 hours. If respite crosses the midnight threshold, the data sheet has to stop at that midnight 1159 mark because you cannot cross over into the next day. You can record in your narrative the actual start and end times. Each day respite should have four to five sentences at least in narrative and more if needed depending on the complexity of the service. This is your example of a completed note. You can see that we've got on the first line, the date of the service, the begin time at 9 p.m., the end time at 11.59 p.m., and I went ahead and I did this as a day respite example because it was one of the exceptions. You have the location, and you can see that 12. is just an indicator for home, so that's what I put in. You can see that five out of five tasks have been scored, and because this is done as an example for day respite, I also went ahead and put it in as a day respite for mill levy, which means the narrative is going to be in the billable comments section. I arrived at 9 p.m. and I left at 11 a.m. the next day. So you can see for billing purposes, we have it within the same day, not crossing the midnight threshold. And in the narrative, we've got the actual end, end start time. We provided a simple narrative of what happened. We have a photo verification, a signature verification, and don't forget to hit submit at the top. And then you are all done, and you can always go back to that individual home page and review any of these data sheets that you've entered for errors. If you see an error, you can always send in a request for alteration.